Bison, and uh, why, hello, Mark. How are you today? Oh, I'm angry. Everywhere I look, my little brother is right there. My mom is in the living room. She has papers everywhere. She's on a computer and there's no room to play. Oh, Mark, I'm sure your house is big enough for all of you. Plus, sharing it is what makes it feel like home. Well, it feels too small. My sister keeps using my stuff and playing music when I want it quiet. Worst of all, we can't go anywhere. Mark, that does sound like you're having a hard time. It makes me want to scream and yell ah! and stomp around. Oh, Mark, I felt that way before. But can I tell you a secret? When I tried screaming and yelling and stomping around, it didn't make me feel any better. In fact, it made me feel worse. I felt badly after because I treated my family and my house so poorly. Well, ugh. What can I do then? Well, first of all, let's work on anger. And then we'll make a plan. Ugh, okay. How? We need to calm our bodies. Let's try a muscle tighten and release. Start at your eyebrows. Raise them up as high as you can, like two rainbows, and relax. Eyes, squeeze your eyes shut tight so it's as dark as the night, and relax. Lips. Make your lips push out in a tight kiss like a fish. And relax. I'm gonna show you this one and you can try it with me. I'm even gonna take my glasses off. We're gonna do a little tapping with our pointer fingers. Both of your pointy fingers are gonna lightly drum on your face. Above your nose. By your eyes. On your cheeks. Above your lip. On your chin. It's starting to work. Let's make sure it really works and we really calm all that anger out of our bodies. Let's finish with a snake breath. Okay, how do I do a snake breath? We're gonna take a big breath in and hiss out through our teeth all the air. Ready? Okay. <gasps> I feel better. Great, Mark. Now let's figure out what to do about your own space. Okay. First, we need to tell your family when you want to be alone. Like this? I need some space, brother. Sister, I would like to be alone. 
Exactly, Mark. That sounded great. Now you need to find some space that is all your own. But where should I take it? Hmm. Let's pick out somewhere special. Somewhere you can make just your own. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. I have a cozy bean bag in my room. That would be a great idea. And what if you made something over the top of it where you could kind of hide away and be private? <gasps> Like a blanket fort. Yes, your own blanket fort. That would be a great idea. Fill it up, Mark. Put your favorite stuffed animals, your favorite books in there ready for you when you need it. And then you can take that alone time you've been wanting. Wow, good idea, Miss Callie. I'm going to go get Mr. Fluffy Pants, my stuffed cat, and my favorite blue blankie and get to work on my new private cozy corner. That sounds like a great plan, Mark. You have fun making your own space. And remember, use your words to tell your family if you need to be alone for a bit. Everyone does once in a while. It is okay to ask for space. Bye, Miss Callie. Bye, Bison. Thanks. Bison, if you want to make your own Mark puppet, you can name yours whatever you want, but one that's made like Mark where the mouth opens and closes, all you need is a closed pin, a pair of scissors, some paper, and glue. Now, what you're gonna do is cut a shape for the head. You can see here, Mark's head was an oval. Maybe I'll use an oval. Maybe I'll use a circle. Maybe I'll use a triangle. It's up to me what shape of head I want. Now, when I look at my own head, where is my mouth? Is it at the top? Mm -mm. Lower. Is it in the middle? Mm -mm. Lower. It's down at the bottom. So I'm going to cut across my shape to make a mouth. Will I put the scissors at the top? Mm -mm. In the middle where my nose is? No. How about a little down at the bottom? Perfect. Remember, when we hold a scissor, thumb, Fingers, thumb on top. Open, close, open, close. Scissors point out. I'm going to find that spot at the bottom and cut across right where my finger is. I'm going to open and close and cut all the way across. This is the top of the puppet's head. This is the bottom of the puppet's head. And where the cut is, is the mouth. Now, we glue on our puppet to the clothespin. When I use my pinching L, the clothespin, and push down, it opens. So I'm going to put the top of the head on the top of the clothespin. I'm going to put the bottom of the head on the bottom of the clothespin, and I'm going to do it using glue. Come take a look. I twist my glue bottle open and tip it over so gravity can help get the glue out. I'm going to put glue all the way across the clothespin until I get to the silver metal part. That's the top. So I'm going to get the top of the head and push it down. I'm going to line up the bottom of the mouth with the, of the head with the bottom of the top part of the clothespin. Do you see how those line up? I'll show you on the back. See, they are in line. 
right here. Now, paper can fall off unless we hold it while the glue dries for a second. So I'm gonna hold it and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And now I'm in a glue on the bottom. I can tell it's stuck. Okay, so I put a little glue. I keep my clothespin squeezed open and I put a little glue on the bottom just up to that silver metal part. Grab the bottom of the head, line it up with the clothespin edge. The edges will line up and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you have your puppet. You're ready to decorate. I added googly eyes. I added a jewel nose. You and I drew a face on him. I wonder how you will design your very own clothespin puppet. Will it be an animal? Will it be a person? It's up to you. Have fun putting on some puppet shows today.